morning, Hema. How are you? Well, thanks. Good morning, Dr. Dubois. Looks like we have a busy day ahead of us today, so uh, why don't you just run me through what you'd like to accomplish? Sure. So I'm in the transitional discipline phase of my training. So I have an EPA that I was hoping you could assess. Um, what it is is doing a pre-op evaluation of an ASA 1 or 2 patient um, coming for a minor surgical procedure. Do you think you could evaluate me on that today? I would love to give you a little bit of coaching feedback points on that. I haven't gone through the EPA itself, so before we go see the patient, uh, while you prepare the room, maybe I'll just have a quick look over the uh, encyclopedia map. Sure, so I can pull up the EPA encyclopedia on my iPad, or I can just pull up a preview of the form, which also says what needs to be assessed for that uh, EPA. Did you want to see it on the iPad or the computer? I'll have a look on the desktop, okay. and then uh, we can go see the patients once they arrive. Sounds good, I'll set up the room in the meantime. I'm going to go ahead and trigger the assessment uh, so Dr. Duba can preview the form. So the resident will go ahead and pick their assessor, would pick uh, the assessment method. So they want to do it uh, in real time. So I would go ahead and complete and confirm via PIN. All faculty and uh, will be able to set up a PIN so that they don't have to remember their password. The resident will go ahead and pick uh, today's date and then we'll select the EPA. So we're doing EPA transition to discipline one. And to preview the form, you can see right here for part A, there's a preview button. So Dr. Dubois is going to click here to preview the form to get an idea of what all the milestones and what questions that he's going to be assessing Dr. Harris on. Click preview. You can see all the different drop downs for the contextual variables. And here's the Likert scale for these milestones. And here are the milestones on the left-hand side. And if you want to go a step further, you can also click this little question mark here, and it'll take you right to the EPA encyclopedia, where you can then view the map of all the milestones and key and enabling competencies for this EPA. And as you hover over the milestones, you see all of the milestones for this particular EPA. All right, Emma. Uh, so now that we have a bit of time, is now good to go over some of the coaching moments you wanted to review? Yeah, that would be great. Okay, so I've reviewed the EPA that you wanted to focus on today, and what uh, I've done is filled out a few of the milestones, and that would help guide us a bit of our feedback today. So now that they found time to begin the assessment, uh, I'm going to go ahead, and as the staff or the resident can pull this up, you're going to click Begin Assessment at the top of the form. You're going to see that it's indeed Dr. Dubois that's evaluating uh, resident one, which in this case is Dr. Harris. Uh, on a lot of the forms uh, are going to have some notes here for faculty. So if there's any specific things uh, that the faculty should um, uh, work on for the CPA, uh, they'll be up here. They go ahead and fill out the patient demographic in this case, what procedure they worked on, and then fill out the milestones. Uh, a lot of them are a lot of programs want to have optional comment boxes for each milestone. You'd fill this out with the resident, give some coaching feedback. Then at the end here, based on this overall observation, uh, and you can see a lot of these scales in our CBME environment are entrustment-based scales. So this one is took, taken out of the O-score, and in this case, let's say that uh, Dr. Dubois had to prompt uh, the resident from time to time, so they would pick this one. They'd put in some optional comments and some next steps and on all the forms you have these uh, patient safety professionalism concerns and other flagging concerns and take note that the answers uh, that you pick on these last three questions do not go to the resident they go directly to the PA and the PD and also competence committee members so then in this case uh, now that they've completed this form they click submit and have attend and confirm via PIN so it skips the sign-in process for the faculty, which is great. Dr. Dubo would then put in his pin, click confirm, and we're done.